as many fish as they would like to have. But uh, they were completely right. They were vindicated. Do you think the hottest governor is to blame for melting the polar ice cap? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think doesn't. we need a scientist. And there's one in the house. Well, she doesn't, she doesn't believe in global warming science. She just had an interview with Rush Limbaugh within the past week or so in which she called it snake oil science. Mm. And she was, she was confused whether it was global warming or climate change. Well, Sarah, it's both. It's real. It's, there's no longer a debate about the science. It's going on. It's from not all from human carbon emissions, but most of it is. The science, scientific debate has been solved, and the fact that she, as governor of Alaska, and likely Sean Parnell as present governor, will likely do virtually nothing about it is a real tragedy, and, and we need a governor that, and a legislature that gets this. Do you guys remember? I agree. Do you guys remember the old bumper stickers that said Alaskans for global warming and they had yeah. like a pile of tires on fire and I thought that was really funny when I was a kid. I was like, sure. yeah, yeah, I'm cold. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. Now, yeah, we, I mean, we don't have the you know, where, of, of where that Portage sort of thing, was you know. when I was a kid, you basically, it was floating across the road halfway and now mm -hmm. it's, you know, you got to drive miles to see it. I mean, there's so many changes. I'm not that old that I can track climate change, but actually I must. But be. you can. Yeah. I can, and it's and it does seem to be speeding up. Ethan, <laughs> do you think the Palin administration helped or hurt the state's working re relationship with the oil producers? And what is our next step with the producers? I think it hurt the relationship with the oil producers, and I think it hurt it because you got to have a, a relationship of respect between all the segments of the Alaska community, even when you disagree with them. And I don't think that the relationship was respectful. I, I, and I also think it wasn't necessarily based in fact. When you sit down at the table with the oil industry, you need to know what it is you believe in and the direction you want to take the state. And I don't think the Palin administration had that sense of direction, at least not coming from the head. And um, that has to change. I think the oil industry needs to be aware that the rules are going to be clear, uh, that there's going to be a steady hand on the helm, but that Alaska is a sovereign state, and when we go to the table, we go as an equal, not as a subservient partner. Do you think Sarah Palin should be allowed to speak at Fort Hood? No. 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 <laughs> I don't know why Fort Hood would, uh, would want her to speak there. I don't, think, I don't think anybody has no. any place in going, no. um, any citizen. I think that the last person that went there and spoke to the people there was Barack, Barack Obama, Obama. Yeah. and it was appropriate and yeah. he spent some time there dealing with families and the tragic loss there and um, for Sarah Palin to go and capitalize on such a tragedy yeah. is, it's just whorish. Yeah. It, was a hor just, it was a horrible event and we need to recognize it as that. So. If you had the opportunity to make $1 million posing for Playgirl or Playboy, would you? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, that's one your life lines can't help you with. Oh, come on, <laughs> Ethan. Tax free. <laughs> Tax free. <laughs> well, come on, Steve Heimel. I asked you earlier. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. Rick. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Waffle. <laughs> Look, my, my daughter told me, she said, my daughter's nine, she said, Dad, if you want to be a governor, keep your shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. That's Will we ever get an all Alaska gas line? Um, please, God, can we please have, an, God, if you're watching. We're, we're not going to get it under the current conditions, but we will get it if we stand up and act like a sovereign and start to drive the terms of the debate. And, yeah, uh, an all-Alaska <coughs> gas line might not be the outcome, but we should have all-Alaska gas solutions. Whether we're, we're developing the gas in-state, creating gas to liquid, so we have a value-added fuel that can be used in all the communities of Alaska, urban and rural, or whether we do a giant server farm on the North Slope, or whether we do a bullet line, but we've got to start generating all-Alaska solutions, which is not necessarily the same thing as an all-Alaska line. Mm -hmm. All right. What? Why does Lisa Murkowski and why do Lisa Murkowski and Sarah Palin oppose a health care reform bill that would give 133,000 uninsured Alaskans health care? Um, because they both have insurance. 
Lisa Murkowski, she fell uh, last year skiing, uh, tore her knee up, had to have surgery. Um, I hope she's repaired, and I'm glad that she's enjoying and using the insurance provided to her by the American taxpayers. I think it would be a much uh, healthier debate going on right now in Washington had Barack Obama pulled all the insurance for every single one of those sons right. of guns on the hill and said, you'll get back what you give to the American people. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank my panel so much for being here. Uh, next week, we'll have another live show. If you want to send us an email to get tickets to be live in the audience, you can email moreupnorth at gmail.com. I'm Shannon Moore. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>